at the age of 14 one day i was playing cricket my uncle walked in and he said shekhar you are playing really good cricket why don't you join some big academy and learn it professionally and then you can be a very good cricketer i laughed and said uh, i just do it for my happiness it's not that i want to make a profession out of it but fast forward today when i look back i realize that how important formal training is when you want to become a internationally acclaimed professional so today i am here to talk about how can you join stanford university which is one of the best universities harvard stanford and mit these are the three best universities in biotech and a lot of cutting edge ai related research is happening in these universities before i get to that let me tell you a recent news which came up so researchers at stanford university and arc institute they have designed a ai model it is called as evo which is trained on millions of bacteriophages genomic data and this particular ai model is now capable of rewriting or writing genomic codes for the bacteriophages so they focused on creating uh, these uh, bacteriophages who who would attack a particular bacterial strain in this case was e coli okay so idea was like there is lot of anti microbial resistance happening and medicines no longer work what if we could design the viruses which will go and attack the bacteria and kill them so they designed this and this particular virus so they printed 302 new virus genomes using ai right and they have done this inside a computer now they have chemically assembled it now out of this 302 16 designs were found to be successfully infecting bacteria now that's roughly around 5% success rate but what really happened has amazed them these bacteriophages hijacked the entire cellular machinery just like a regular bacteriophage for a targeted bacteria and they replicated and burst the bacteria and killed them now these ai designed phages is actually outperforming the naturally occurring bacteriophages now that this is actually exciting as well as worrying at the same time exciting because this is the first time we could use a virus to kill a bacteria the way we wanted so we could design a virus but the worrying fact is of course we can now design viruses which can impact human population and people can die remember the corona virus pandemic right so this is really worrying but uh, now that you heard this news my question to you is what do you want to become do you want to be a news reader or a news maker right back then my uncle asked me this also why are you shying away from professional training you can be the news maker of tomorrow instead of a news reader of tomorrow i didn't pay attention but today i am here to tell you that he was right fast forward to today the question now is how can you join stanford university as a researcher in aiml in projects like these and many other projects right now the best part is you are born in the ai era so if it was like 5 years ago i would have said you really need to struggle a lot because getting into harvard stanford requires a very high level of expertise and um, phd from a top level institute but as of today the entry barrier is lesser okay it's just like today a biologist can code the same way a biologist can easily enter stanford and harvard and mit why this news which i told you and many other such news matters is because the future is changing and the future is changing because of people like you it's no longer the time to accept what comes to you it's a time to design your career design your career for the ai era the next invention innovation or discovery in the ai era will not come from lab it will come from ai right so if you join stanford okay stanford university you could be doing that the question is how do you do that 
See, there are four parts of this process. Okay, if you follow, you're going to get there. The first part would be learning AI because that's most important. So as a biologist, you'll have to go through the process of learning coding, learning bioinformatics, and learning artificial intelligence, machine learning. So this is the learning part, the first stage, learning. The second phase will be implementing the learning. Okay. Now, how do you implement the learning? You implement the learning during some kind of internship or some kind of project, right? And that's the second. So you, whatever you learned, now you implement in something what is relevant to Stanford University projects. Now, if you want to know what are the Stanford University projects happening across, you got to, you know, go through the list of projects which is there on their web website. You have to go through that. Once you've gone through that, okay, similar projects you do it in India, okay? And then the third step, okay? So first was learning, second was implementation. The third was publishing paper. Similar to their work, you have done the project. Now, publish a paper, right? In peer-reviewed journals, say Nature or big, big journals, right? Once you've done that, so that's the third step done. Fourth step would be applying there. And how do you apply is you don't do official channels. You have to go through the unofficial channels. You have to get noticed, right? You write a mail, email to some, some of the top scientists and say that, see, I have done this research and recently my paper got published and I feel it's very relevant. So it would be great if we collaborate, right? And the collaboration can be online or offline. Offline means I can come there. Online means I can, we can always collaborate online. You are bound to get a reply from the professor because you've done this, right? And he will definitely schedule a meeting with you. That meeting is the jackpot, okay? And in that meeting, you showcase how, showcase your energy, enthusiasm, why you would love to be a part of that project, and then get it. Now, this particular process is not, nothing new actually. Many of my students have utilized this process to get into top level universities and colleges across the world. But it's a slow and painful process of one year, minimum one year. Now, the, to get started, all, all you have to do is register in Biotechnica's AIML in Biology training program. Now, if in case you are, uh, you've already done that, then you should also learn AIML in Chemistry because that is also very important. So, Rasainika, our sister concern company, is launching the AIML in Chemistry training sessions, so internship, project and um, pu paper publication, all of that, right? So you will get trained, then you will get a project with our industry partners, and then you publish a paper, and then of course you go and apply in this. Now the, here's the fun fact, our team will help you, our global team of experts will help you get into these universities. So all you have to do is register for the AIML in uh, biology and chemistry, which is starting from 28th is, is the date for AIML in chemistry and uh, AIML in biology. So go ahead, register and learn this. And uh, who knows, you might be the newsmaker of tomorrow. One important aspect before I leave you today is don't think small. I have done that crime. Thinking small is sin. Okay. And sitting at one place without any action is just like smoking. You are harming your own self, your own body, your own mind. It is getting rusted. Take on new challenges and then solve it. Once you get addicted to solving new and bigger challenges which humanity faces, my dear friend, the whole world will come to you. All the best. Keep shining. Thank you.